Welcome to Crime Alley Comics. I have a comic, uh, new comic book day haul for you guys today. Plus, I picked up some other books. Uh, I actually did go to the antique store over Jake's over in Marion, Indiana uh, last Saturday and picked up some books. So I do have a few things to show you tonight. And I also picked up something else very special. But uh, I wanted to start out with new comic book day books. So to start off with, as I've told you in the past, uh, I do pick up a few books for my wife. And this one is Firefly, uh, The Message. So that's one for my wife. I do not see, uh, I don't see a number on it, so. <laughs> but we have that one. Uh, the Walking Dead. This is issue number five from Image Comics. And I do believe these are, this is also for my wife, by the way. But uh, I do believe that this is just a new start of the old run. But these are in color where the originals were in black and white. So, um, so I'm picking those up for my wife. Alright, The Batman's Grave, number 12. And then uh, Dark Knight Metals, number 6. I'm sorry, Dark Knight Death Metals, number 6. And this is the Art Germ cover. nice book Teen Titans Endless Winter Special number one I am trying to collect all of the Endless Winter uh, one shots and tie-ins and, and along with the Dark Knight Death Metal tie-ins and the Joker War tie-ins so uh, Justice League number 58 Batman 105, and this is the uh, Matina cover. Very beautiful cover. This one here is Aquaman number 66. I believe this one is also an Endless Winter tie-in. And that's all the books I picked up at my LCS for New Comic Book Day. However, um, for Christmas, my LCS was handing out these uh, uh, comic book box dividers. And they're actually cardboard. They're, they're pretty solid. They're not just cardboard. They're a, more of a press, press board. And I picked out the Detective Comics number 27. So that was pretty cool. They were giving those away one to each customer this week. So that's my haul for New Comic Book Day. Now, what did I do with okay, my other comic books are over here. Now, one interesting thing. Now I don't I, I don't know exactly how old this is, but um, I picked up some comic books at the at the antique store and one of them was in this bag and I've seen Captain Strange Life show these bags before uh, they're from a, a ways back uh, comic book protective cover um, three dollars for a pack of a hundred and so I hung on to that I wanted to show you guys this this is pretty cool so it's kind of an old an old bag but I'd never seen one with this printed on it before, except for when Captain Strange Life showed them on his channel. And as you can see, part of this is missing right here, so you can't read it real well. <laughs> Add 50 cents for postage. <laughs> I can't imagine shipping anything for 50 cents, but 
but anyway so there's that now at the antique store um, a few weeks ago I showed you a model that I picked up from Galaxy Quest well uh, and I picked it up at Jake's as well they didn't have this when I was there before or I would have bought it but this time they had this model the Galaxy Quest Ion Nebulizer and Vox Communicator and this this box is actually open but uh, everything in the model box is still in the bag so I'm anxious to build this someday and also with this model you get a Galaxy Quest uniform patch so I thought that was pretty cool so so now I've got the ship and I've got the nebulizer or the phaser as I would call it and the communicator so that I thought that was pretty cool and the box is in pretty good shape yet but uh, the cellophane was off of it but that's cool because that at least I got to look at the models and make sure it was okay before I bought it so so that's pretty neat I'm glad to get that I, I love Galaxy Quest there have been talk several times about them making a sequel to that uh, it's never happened but hopefully that will happen in the near future okay now for the comic books that I picked up at Jake's I picked up Brave and the Bold special and I don't know I don't remember what number this is but anyway it's from 1978 and it is a Jim Aparo cover very nice book I only paid a buck for this book one dollar very happy to have that let me move this over here okay as you know I collect DC Comics Presents this is number 77 from January of 1985 Superman and the Forgotten Heroes this one is also a very nice book all these books I got from Jake's were a dollar I think there was one that I paid a, like two dollars for but all of these were dollar books at Jake's and as you know I like to collect the Batman animated series comic books uh, these are Batman and Robin adventures I don't have a whole lot of these so I was really glad to see that they had these at Jake's this is Batman and Robin adventures number nine and these books are in extremely good condition very nice comics I actually had there was two of those there was two of this one uh, in the set I must have it mixed in here somewhere or I pulled it out for some reason I don't know <laughs> uh, anyway the next one is number 10 very nice Raz al Ghul or Ra's al Ghul however you prefer to pronounce it cover and Talia is on there as well most of these are done by uh, Ty Templeton the the covers and the interior art I believe is done by Ty Templeton uh, this is number 11 these are all um, well these are from 1996 and 1997 for the most part um, of the ones that I've got here cool cover um, then they had number 16 nice Catwoman cover oh that's the one I have two of <laughs> I was thinking it was the first one but but I guess not uh, that was number 16 this is number 17 with Joker, Two-Face, and the Mad Hatter, and the Riddler, and 
Mr. Freeze and the Penguin all on the cover. Very cool. Very cool cover. Oh, Harley Quinn, you can see Harley Quinn's head right up here. Just the top of her head. Then I think back in the background over here, you can't see it very well, but I think that's uh, Ra's al Ghul standing on that block in the background. Number 22, Two-Face cover. Number 23, Killer Croc cover. It's interesting that uh, that this is on there at an angle. <laughs> oh well. And then I picked up uh, Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number one, the pink cover. I already had that. I've got the whole set, but they had this one, and it's it's really nice. It's in a really good condition. So. For a buck, I figured, why not? <laughs> and then I got the uh, 1990 annual, Batman annual, number 14. I now have this one three times, but this one uh, is actually in better shape than the other two that I have. And it was only a dollar. So, so I had to get that as well. Um, I hope to go back this weekend and pick up a few more things, but we shall see don't like to get out a whole lot because COVID is as you know uh, increasing the numbers of positive cases and so on so I don't really get out a whole lot but we do get out a little bit and do a little shopping but my Christmas shopping's all done which is great <laughs> and of course most of that I did online but I did pick up some things you know at different stores but uh, let's see I think that's all I have for this week um, I don't know exactly when I will do my next video um, I may get another one in before Christmas but if I don't I would like to wish the community Merry Christmas I hope you have a great Christmas we're not doing uh, a big gathering with our family um, I'm actually going to well a lot of the stuff like my my oldest or my youngest son he lives in st louis so he's not going to make it up anyway because he doesn't want to you know get out and and uh, expose the baby to uh, covid and so on and uh, so they're not coming up so i shipped their christmas to them uh i shipped uh my son-in-law or my uh stepson's and his family's Christmas all to them uh, I sent it uh, Christmas to my stepdaughter in Indy and then I'm going to deliver to my oldest son who just lives about 45 minutes from here and my youngest daughter who lives about an hour and I don't know hour and 15 minutes or so from here so I'm going to deliver to those two <laughs> And then my oldest daughter from Louisiana, she's coming up Christmas Day. And they're going to stay with us a few days. So they'll do Christmas here with us, I guess. And because uh, they'll be staying with us for a few days. So so we're trying to keep it really small and uh, and still get, you know, Christmas out to everybody. So so that's that's the plan for us. So I hope if you do have any get-togethers uh, with your family that you stay safe you know wear your mask do your social distancing and so on but uh, if you're not going to be with family then you know I hope whatever you do to work that out will be a blessing to you and uh, just remember the reason for the season uh, Christ is born the Savior of the world that's all I have for tonight um, like I said, I'll try to get up another video before Christmas, but I'll definitely get one up after Christmas because I'm sure I'll have some things to show you after Christmas and, uh, 
and we'll just play it by ear and see what happens. So everyone have a great rest of the week. Uh, have a great weekend since, well, yeah, today's Friday, so this is the end of the week, thank God. Uh, I have three days to work next week, and I'm off for 11 days, so that is great. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> anyway, everyone have a great weekend. God bless, and we'll see you all next video.